Hey everyone, welcome back to this playthrough of the Tartarus Key. I'm General Cantalou. I will eventually remember it without having to think about it. Um, so yeah, last episode we solved this uh, the first puzzle in in the bar. Um, we reestablished the electricity and then we solved the puzzle to open the pantry in order to start uh, mixing drinks for. Uh, for our friend, well, our friend William. Um, so now we're just picking up ingredients. And now we are ready. Hey, I've got into the drinks cabinet. Can't do much without knowing what I'm, what's meant, what I'm, yeah. Can't do much without knowing what I'm meant to be making. You've got the journal. I know you've read it. Right. Didn't think you would want to talk about it. But, and why is that? It's mostly your friends ridiculing you. Friends? I don't care about friends. I'm not a six year old child. Okay, well, it sure seemed like what those people wrote about you upset you. Wrote about you upset you. I'm not upset. I'm exhausted, angry, thirsty, thirsty, and not in any mood to be psychoanalyzed. Look, just just finish whatever you're doing and let's get this over with. When I get out of here, I'm going to have a talk with some acquaintances of mine, especially that chillest bastard Robert. If anyone were to vote me in, you can bet it was him. Voted you in? <laughs> What are you in? How democratic. Yes, well... I, uh, I imagine that's how it works. All this for talking to some lady. I had barely drunk anything. What? Oh, never mind that. My point was that it mentions me drinking a cocktail called a gumshoe. Think that's the drink? Must be. Whether they hated me or not, it certainly was a night to remember. That's great. Pretty sure I saw a gumshoe mention on one of those recipe cards. I'll work it out. Okay, so now I'll save, just to make sure. Uh, so now we need to craft a gumshoe. Uh, the journal William was reading. He was happily drinking gumshoe after gumshoe like some commoner. A night to remember. <laughs> Honestly, celebrating five billion. It's like watching a monkey dance after breathing. After bring, being thrown a banana, a simple and clean. Sometimes run. Make sure the customer is not allergic to pineapple before adding. Yes, I'm talking to you, Kevin. Uh, lazy morning. One whiskey, one water, one cordial of choice. An equivalent flavor of liqueur is a perfect substitute. Uh, two times whiskey, one time cordial of choice, high quality coffee. Note, if anyone asks for a gumshoe, all you have to do is swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey and make sure the drink is served piping hot. Okay, so... Two times coffee, one time whiskey, and a cordial of choice. I don't know what a cordial of choice is. Sorry, just googling cordial of choice. Cordial liqueur meaning. Sweetened distilled spirits. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it's apple liqueur in this case. So it would be the cordial of choice. Um... I got the water. Oh, machine is on, but with hot water, it's no use. How do I get water? Um, sorry. <coughs> right now, it looks like I'm <laughs> looking at a at a walkthrough, but I, I swear to God, I just look at my uh, look at my OBS. 
Um, okay, so I need water. Oh, an empty bottle. But where? I need water. Uh, no. Sure, I can have water from elsewhere, can I? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to make do. Two times coffee. <laughs> uh, I'll just save in case I I mess up without like just making a mistake but because I didn't understand how it worked um, so all I have to do is swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey and make sure sorry uh, battle net agents it's it's fucking insistent it, it doesn't stop coming um, no need to do it again Mix a drink, yes. Uh, two parts coffee. One part whiskey. And then one part apple cider. No, it has to be pipe piping hot. Ah, oh, so I need to add the coffee last. Yes. Um. One part. One part. And then two times. Okay, it's lukewarm. If, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, I really didn't understand it, so let's hope we save William. Finally, is that my drink? Took you long enough. Before you pour this down your ungrateful throat, there's something I want to ask about to you, you about. 
you knew somehow about the mansion and puzzles. The death traps. But your plan was just to... to wait? Yes, I've said that. Please pay attention. Right, right, right. How is just sitting around supposed to help you survive, though? <laughs> oh no. I know I'm not going to like this answer. Well, I... I simply thought once everyone else was dead. Wow. Look, I don't know you, alright? I'm a victim too. Can you blame a man for wanting the best chance for, s for himself he can get? Hey, I don't know you. And I still came to try and save you. Yeah, There's a time and a place for pointless squabbling and this is not it. Hey, the person doing all the legwork gets to decide what is pointless. You clearly know way more about this situation than I do. And I want answers. And I want you to stop nattering at me, nattering at me and give me my damn drink. My god, no wonder people hate you enough to stick you in here. You have got to be the most uncooperative, uncooper unhelpful person I've ever met. And I've worked retail. <laughs> That's a good one. My feelings are just an absolute tatters, I assure you. You know what? Fine, take the drink. But then, I want some information out of you. Oh, uh, very well. If it'll get me some peace and quiet in this damnable place, we'll have a lovely chat. But you're not going to like it. That tracks, yeah. My drink, please. Fine. Here, one gumshoe. It looks correct. I followed the recipe. You're absolutely sure? Huh. I feel like someone's walking over my grave. Do I risk it? Don't you want to get out of that thing? I do, but I also would prefer not to simply die in a different, more ironic way. Are you 100% positive this is correct? Well, yes. For the hundredth time, yes. Come on, bottoms up. You'll get that machine off, we'll go downstairs, and we'll all find a way out. We all holding hands in this scenario, and skipping too. Not that I have a choice, I suppose. This contraption has started clicking. What? Why didn't you say anything? We report strange noises in our death machines, William. Please lower your voice. This type of hysteria is exactly why I chose not to say anything. This melodrama wouldn't have wouldn't have martyred if ye make a mistake. Cheers. Man, I hope. No. Oh. I succeeded. <sighs> Take that, you awful obnoxious device. Score one for William. <sighs> what do you mean, phew? I thought you were sure. I was, but still. It's if you were in this kind of situation, William. And I'm pretty sure I just heard the door unlock. Which means it's time for us to beat feet. Come on, I want to introduce you to Taurus, and you can tell us... Now oh, see here, I've barely recovered from that harrowing mistreatment. I never agreed to be left led around like some performing monkey. Oh my god. I wish you were a monkey. You'd probably talk less. You're coming with me. Unless you want to hang out by yourself in a place designed by people who very clearly want you dead. Well, I already told you. I I would have been fine if I had just waited. I think. Oh, very well. Stop glowering at me. You'll get wrinkles. Let's go see this friend of yours. Hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, Alex. Yeah, we made it. That a girl. Never had any doubt. I'll take this chair, thank you. Would you be at the ear and fetch me a drink? And who the hell are you? William Jones the third. I beg your pardon. I was speaking. The third. So the drink. Oh, I know you. You came in. A, you came up in a missing persons investigation. A friend of mine was working. A woman trying to lodge a report about some secret society that was out to get her. Your name came up. Nobody took her seriously, but someone didn't like her talking. She turned up dead a few days later, strangled in her apartment. Know anything about that? I, I can't say that I do. Seriously? Is that the woman you talked to while drunk? I was hardly drunk. Slightly inebriated, perhaps, but not... Not the point. I suppose it might have been that woman. She was very bubbly, sweet, blonde, tall, large. Uh, <coughs> bosoms? <laughs> This dude got no shame. Oh my god, seriously? Well, pardon me for noticing. Besides, what was she thinking going to the police? She knew there were people in our group who... who were dangerous. Even I knew. There's something about their eyes. Like, all of them have... Even Alex, I think... Like, look, look at the eye. Look at the right eye. Torres has the, uh, the same thing, and sometimes she closes her eyes in her portrait. I'm pretty sure there's something going on with the eyes. That's nothing to do with me, is it? It's not my fault. None of this is my fault. So you're part of this Tartarus society, you said. Look, I, I told you, it, it's. I thought this was all just for fun, a laugh. Such a laugh you were willing to sit on your ass and wait it out while the rest of us died? Yes, super fun. You know, that woman we were talking about left behind a diary, William. She didn't go into detail, but putting those pieces together with what we know now, you had a hand in this. Ignorance is no excuse. I, I don't want to talk about it. Will someone talk about it? Because I want to know more about this society. I always figured it was just a rumor. You know how rich old people love melodrama. It's supposedly a secret society of the elite. In other words, people with money, influence, and lots of it. And they used to make whoever pissed them off just disappear for their own amusement. Huh. And I thought it was nonsense. I mean, can you blame me? That's who put us here? Some Illuminati wannabes? Oh my god, I'm so angry I think I gave myself acid reflux. Funny, I feel that way about the world myself more often than not. Hey Alex. You holding up okay? I mean, aside from everything? I guess so. I was just thinking. Yes, see, the eye. The right eye. There is something with the right eye. I'm barking orders at you and I can't even get off my ass and help. Well, I mean, it's, it's not like you've chosen to be on your ass. I know. I just also know I'm asking a lot of you. And you're so young, Alex. Hey, I'm not that young. Old enough for student loans anyway. Honestly, people have been taking care of me my whole life. My parents, my grandmother, and 
I've never really gotten a chance to pay it forward. It's not a bad thing to be in love, Alex. Yeah, but like, this is my turn to help. It's my turn to take care of people. Honestly, it's kind of all I've ever wanted to do. I just never really got the opportunity. It's not like I'm not grateful, and I know you're capable. You just have to remember that you matter too. Oh hey, trust me. Getting out of here when all my parts intact is definitely high up in my priorities. Alright, with all that <laughs> being said, it's already the end of this video. Uh, next episode we'll continue to explore this creepy mansion um, and talk a bit with William, see what he knows, if he knows uh, more about what's going on here. Um, and yeah, finally we saved someone that wasn't a hundred percent sure to be saved. So that's a victory in itself. So we'll see you next time. Bye bye.